Hello everyone, I'm MyCat87. Welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door No Damage. Last time I made it partway through the Major League in the Glitch Pit, so now I'm going to continue from there. I had a bit of trouble with Guardian Boucher's attacks last time, and I practiced that off recording a little bit, so hopefully I'll be good this time. So let's go ahead and head into the Major League Locker Room and Gear next match. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully the condition won't suck. No using hammer? Okay, that's fine. I, I can do that. Because I'm gonna be my my strat uses jumping, so I can do that. Alright. My strat for the magic group masters does anyway. Let's see, make sure I have the right badges on. Yeah, I got I got two power pluses and jump man on multi so that's good. Alright. These guys are gonna be easy as long as I just get my move right. And then Bowser I have to guard his attacks for, so let's hope I can do that this time. Alright, and now I'll do this, and I'll take them out because I'll do 5 damage to all of them. Okay, now it's time to battle Bowser. He's gonna show up here. So yeah, his attacks pierce defense, so there's no way to really reduce the damage all the way down to 0. I can reduce them to 1 with mini egg, which is why guarding is gonna be required. Mm. So I should be able to kill him in three turns if I can get my moves right. So let's start by switching to Yoshi and mini egging him. Then I'm gonna have to guard his attack afterwards. Alright, let's do it. It's always breath. Alright, got it. Use his bite second turn, so I have to be ready for that too. Alright. Okay. Mushroom be oh yeah, I don't care. Got it. Alright, so if I just get these last two moves, I'm good. Man, it's pretty it's pretty annoying to have to guard the attacks, but since they pierce or at least his fire pierces, there's no other way to deal with him. Alright, he's down. We got first try this time, that's good. All right. I'm gonna say that for that. I definitely don't want to have to go through that again because those guards are pretty nerve-wracking to have to hit. All right, I'm gonna go heal and save afterwards. Okay. All right. Alright, so let's uh, go save. The save box is pretty close to the Major League locker room, which is convenient. Alright. Let's see what our next match is. Cry Daddy. Okay, okay, so I can't follow that condition, unfortunately. There's just, that just doesn't work, because if I follow that, I fail my challenge. So I think I got enough courage shells to just let him not damage me and then go on from there. So what I plan to do is use Shell Shield and then, I think I can keep all these powerful speeds Yeah, and then I put on Damage Dodge P and use Courage Shell on Koops so he has 4 defense and then Damage Dodge P raises that to 6, is the idea. And I think that'll be all I'll do. Maybe put on some other stuff, I don't know. Yeah, I can't use, Moldenaps is useless, so is Jumpman, because he ha he's a spiked enemy, so I'm going to want Power Smash instead. Alright, now I think I'm ready to deal with him. I will have to go as attacks as Koop, but, uh, as Koops, but like... I think that's easier than guarding Bowser's attacks, at least. What really sucks is I'm gonna have to fight him twice because I got that bad condition. And now, in wasting curry shells isn't exactly what I want to do, so yeah. All right. So we know what we're doing here. So let's start with um, yeah, this. Yep. I can get good. Well, that's 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 six. So if he hits Mario shell, it automatically breaks. Unfortunately, so that's kind of dumb. Hopefully, I can take him out pretty quickly, but I don't know. All right, I'm good for now. 
continue attacking to start attacking him now. Okay. Okay, Gom again, now I can just finish him off right here and now. Because he has 9 HP left. So this plus a hammer, not even a power smash, will be it now. So let's try that. Alright, he's down. But I have to battle him again because I couldn't follow the condition to take damage five times, so yeah. <sighs> Kinda sucks, but that's how it turned out, huh? But seriously, five times from that guy, even that alone is a lot of damage, just to think. It's kind of ridiculous that they actually have a condition like that on that guy, I, would, I figure. <laughs> oh, it's gonna have a message now. Alright, what are we doing? Telephone booth? Alright, well, I was gonna go get something outside anyway, so I think I, I might as well do that while I'm doing that. Alright. There's Rockhawk. Alright. Once I'm out of him, I've got a strat ready, so we'll have to see how that goes when I take out Rock Hawk with taking no damage, hopefully. I mean, I noticed a problem with my strat right before I started, so I went ahead and fixed it, but and hopefully it'll work now. Alright. You know, I'm, hoping, I'm, hoping I complete, I'm hoping I can complete Chapter 3 this time, but there's no promises for sure. Because there's stuff could easily go wrong. Alright, so let's go over out to that telephone booth and grab... Well, yeah, while I was, gonna go, while I was here, I was going to grab a power punch, because I'm going to need that for, like, Mato Greba. My strat uses it. Alright. So I'll play of current shells. Like, how many do I have? Still got, like, five... six, actually. I only need two when taking into account Rock Pack and Mato Greba, but... Yeah, so I think I'll be fine on current shells, assuming no more really dumb conditions happen. Alright. Also, I think I'm going to grab the star piece, because that's the only thing I did earlier. Yeah, there it is. Alright. So now we have to enter the storage room, right? Yeah. Alright. Lots of cutscenes in this major league part. Uh, but lots of doing non valiant stuff is what I really mean, but yeah. I guess I'll hit this. Save myself some time, hopefully. If I have problems later. Alright. Alright. Hmm. Now I guess we go in here. And I'll probably grab Charge P. I mean, it might be useful, so I should. I'm also going to be using Charge on the Master Grubba fight, so I already grabbed that earlier, so it should be ready to use. I mean, it was found in Chapter 2, so yeah. Okay, enough of that. Gotta blow these things away. I'm gonna want charge P, so I'm gonna grab it. I don't have any need for it yet, but for all I know, I'll, need, I'll want it later, so yeah. Okay. Let's grab those and hit the switch. Alright. Alright then. that go over here it'll grab HP plus P but it's of no use obviously I'll just sell it for obvious reasons All right All right, y'all look down here okay okay
right? Down here we go. Now I can finally get on with the next bell, which is going to be the Crawdaddy again. Because I couldn't follow the condition. Take damage five times, yeah, I can't do that, obviously. Alright, so let's see what condition we get this time. Hopefully it won't suck. No flower points? Oh, jeez. I can't shell shield in that case. In that case, there's basically, I mean, there's basically no way to be completely safe, is there? Let me just... Yeah, I mean, Mario can't have, like, six defense, even with a courage shell on. Like, you could have five, but not six. Hmm. That's rough. I don't want to use two courage shells, either. So, I may just have to rely on super guarding it, or... Ugh, let's see. I wonder, I wonder how likely clock out is to work. I'm not really sure. I guess I'll try using it and then see if I can super guard attack if it fails, I guess. I'll, I'll try that, yeah. So, um, let's just, I'm gonna want coops. Let's just go ahead and go in. Alright. Probably could have put on some different badges, but whatever. If I can just get a clock out, I'll be fine. But I'm just kind of annoyed that if it doesn't work, I'll have to super guard. I can't use any FP, I gotta remember that. Alright, so let's start with the clock out. Hope I get this right. Haven't used this move a whole lot, interestingly. It worked. Alright, so now I'm fine. Just go fire away at him, basically. So I should be able to win this now, assuming no buckets or anything, because you never know when it comes to stuff like that, unfortunately. Alright, let's finish him off with this. I think this will, will this be enough? No, I might need one more. Yeah, I need one more. Alright, he's down. Alright. Well, I'm glad I tried using Pluck out there. That seemed to work pretty well. Not sure if the chance actually is, but it worked, so uh, it's all good. All right. I guess I'll go save. Can't heal SP with a bed, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna, yeah, go save and then do my next fight. Which, was it Hama, Blama, and Flare? I, I think that's what it was. Or was it the Chomp Country? It's one of those. I, I'm pretty sure. Hama, Blama, and Flare, no items. Okay. Right. So, I know those guys have. Okay, so I'm probably gonna want Jumpman slash multi bounce stuff, I'd imagine. Or maybe it'd be better just to Earth Tremor and then. and then Power Shell. I think that would do the trick. And they said no items, so that works fine. Alright, I, I mean, I don't even need any of these, except I probably do need the Power Plus Piggies, but yeah, in any case, let's just go ahead and do it. That, that strategy should work fine. Alright. Well, there's a dodgy cape, but it doesn't matter. We can just go ahead and Earth Tremor Power Shelt them and things should be all good. them. 
Okay. Okay, so there's two more rankings to go up for, and then Rock Hawk, it looks like. Just gonna get another message. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, and no, don't have to do anything for that one, but. Alright, I can't heal. Well, okay, yeah, I can heal the FPs on PowerShell, so I'll do that. Before taking on, what is it gonna be, the Koopinator? No, it's gonna be Chomp Country, then the Koopinator. Yeah, okay. So let's see what we get here. Use at least one special move. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of annoying because I don't have SP right now, so I can't just end the fight like right there. Well, because I have five attack, right? Yeah, I think they do, so why don't we... Yeah. I'm gonna try something here. Yeah, I think, I think I got an idea of what I'm gonna do then. So, I have damage on P on, right? No, I don't. I guess I'll put it on then. Let's see, I probably don't even need that, but whatever. Alright, so let's um, go ahead and do it. Don't use any spe use at least one special move, actually. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> okay, I still got like six courage shells, so I feel comfortable using one or two of them here, because I think a Koopa is going to be pretty easy if I just quick hammer him. So yeah. Then we just got Rock Hawk and Macho Grub after that. Alright, so... I'm going to start by defending with him, then I'll give him two defense, and courage I'll give him five. No, not that. There we go. I'm going to try Super Guarding, because I might as well, honestly. Alright. Nope. Then what I'm going to do is do this, then appeal. I'm going to get an Earth Tremor to kill them, basically, is my plan. One more turn of defense, so I'll defend and appeal again. Alright. Hmm, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think one appeal is going to be enough here, so... I'm going to use another Courage Shell. All I can really do. I still have four left, right? After that, yeah, so I'm good for now. Unless I somehow end up using like three on the Cubinator, I doubt that would happen. Okay, I'm gonna stop super guarding them because I don't want to actually. I, I'll just have to super guard that one because I missed an earlier one, but yeah. Alright, let's do it again. This fight's gonna take some time, it looks like, but whatever. Defend the pill again. Okay. Alright, now I can just go ahead and Earth Tremor them, and that, that'll do the trick, because that counts my so-called special move. Alright. Shouldn't take a whole lot to kill them, but I'm going to just go max, just to make sure. I mean, I did my Super Guard each of them a couple times. Alright. There, that'll definitely do it. Okay, now they're out. Give me leveling up one more time, it looks like. Try to see if I want to go FP or BP. I probably can go BP for now. I mean, yeah, I'll do that. And then probably maybe FP time after that or so. We'll see. Alright, let's, um... I'm already I'm I'm already healed in terms of everything except for star power, so just go ahead and start the next one. Okay, I'm gonna save first. I haven't done that in a little bit of time, so let's just do that to be safe. Cause who knows, maybe they'll like get don't hammer and then have to deal with super guarding him. That could very well happen. Alright. No switching partners. Alright, so in that case, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use Gumbella then. I mean, that'll make it easy. I can, I can just Quake him and then he's down, basically. So where's Quake Hammer? There it is. So let's see, these badges, I think it'll work. I mean, I don't need damage, dodge P, but I'll, 
I guess I'll keep it for whatever reason. All right. So now let's um, go ahead and do this. All right. So now we just got this guy. It's don't switch partners. That should be easy. All right. And after that we have Rock Hawk, I believe. So we're almost there, basically. All right. So obviously I just quick hammer him to death. That's pretty much the strat. Makes it pretty easy if I can just do that. Things can fall down though, can't they? Gotta be careful of that. Quick hammer I think makes things fall down a good amount of the time. Alright, that should do some that should definitely leave some good damage on him. Now let's do this. I figure from there we'll probably do the trick. Yep, he's dead. Alright. 11 star points, I'm gonna level up BP. I think I'll do FP the time after that. How, I think I have like, what, 27 BP or was it 24? We'll see. It's gonna be 24. Alright, so let's upgrade that to 24. Okay. Yeah, I'm a B-less start now, alright. Give me those coins, alright. And now we have to do something, of course. I'm fully healed, so I'll just, I don't need to do anything there. He starts to flurry, so I can blow down the posters, obviously, but that's it. Save, so I don't have to go through any more fights again. Alright. Okay. Alright, yep, I know. Go to stick it in the floor. Okay. So just gotta do that real quick. Alright, so I'm gonna... Well, let me just get, wait for a time where I'm not doing anything. And then I'll get my um, Rock Hawk straight out so I know what I'm doing. It's gonna require guarding some attacks, so we'll see if I can do that right. Hopefully, I mean, his attacks can be a little hard to guard, like, particularly the, the double flip is a little bit weird, but other than that, shouldn't be a problem. Obviously, you know, obviously going his prop drop is nearly impossible, so I, I not, I'm not counting on doing that, that's for sure. Alright, so let's um, just break this. Alright, so remind me again, whose partner are you using? Let me look at my stretch real quick. Using Coops, alright, I thought so. So I guess I'll just get him out real quick. Got to use Flurry to blow away something later though, I guess, so. Well, let's change my badges so I'm ready. Um, what do I need? Take everything off. I'll leave damage DP, guys, P. Damage dodge P on, because I'm going to need that apparently. Okay, let's do damage dodge P. We need damage dodge. Jump man and quick change is what I seem to be using. So we got confirm everything I got. Damage dodge P, damage dodge jump man quick change. So they're the only ones I need apparently, so that's your work. I have more than enough BP for most things at this point, so I'm gonna probably upgrade FP pretty soon, I'm thinking. Give a save real quick. Let's just get this going. Yeah, that just doesn't matter. I can, I can not use a special move and be just fine. Okay, so I want to take out the right guys. Of course, I'm going to be able to check later because I have to go to that other room first, apparently. Alright, so let's um, just keep going, I guess.
<laughs> I'll show me walking all the way over there, apparently. Well, whatever. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's grab where I talk about out here, so should be able to do this right, hopefully. So we need to head this way. Gonna want to have actually gonna want to have Yoshi out. It looks like so we're gonna have him out for the start of the battle. He can shrink Wack Hawk, which turns out to be pretty useful, and he's very likely to do it with Mini Egg. Like it's, it's almost it's it's almost like zero chance that it doesn't, but there is a very small chance that it won't. But it's very low, basically. All right. So I'm prepared, I'm pretty much. Let's just check my badges one last time. We've got damage, dodge, P, damage, dodge, jump man, and quick change. That's what I need if my strat works out. So I'm ready. Okay. So let's um, head in here. Got both damage dodges, so basically I can guard and we avoid a two damage attack that way. So that's what I'm gonna do in, for the first few parts of the battle. I do have a courage shell. I, I just need that to make this work. So yeah. Okay, here we go. So we're starting with Mini Egg and Spin Jump. So in that case, I'll be able to make him small and deal some good damage. That's the plan. Should do three damage if my badges are right and such. Yep. Then if we can Spin Jump, it should do eight, I believe. Let's just make sure I'm, I'm like, having right while I was shredding. Yeah, it's gonna be eight. Right. Alright, guarded that. Let's see, then I swap the coops. Guess I'll do that here. Then I defend and do a fell chill toss. Alright. Just miss this because I don't want him to start using Superman Slam too early. Alright. Now let's um, use Shell Shield and use a Courage Shell and Coops. Oh wait, yeah, I thought going to start cover star power because of the glitch. Wait, is he throwing me a honey syrup? I guess I'll take it. Alright, anyway. So then I'm gonna use Yeah, I need to use a current shell and coop from there so I can start taking hits better. So I need to do that. So let's do that. So I'm gonna, he's gonna be doing a Superman slam soon, so yeah. Alright, so with current shell, a coop has four defense and the damage that makes it six, so I can take a Superman slam easily. Alright, so now I'm gonna do spin jump and shell toss. Okay. So now we know he's gonna do Superman Slam. Alright. See, I can totally take that as you saw. Alright. Then on turn five we jump and use another shell shield. I don't need to, so 
I guess I'll just jump and shell toss then. That should still work, right? Just want to make sure I'm not messing with up. Yeah, that should still work. And, I mean, in case the shell cell is broken, which it's possible that it would, I would have to use the shell stuff again, which is why I still have 4 FP. Now he's going to go up to the ceiling, and it's going to be useless because we have Shell Shield that Koops has defense, so he can't do anything bad with this. I don't even have to guard it, I'm fine if I don't. Alright, and then we get him to spin his mouth with Earth Tremor. And Head Bonk, so I'll swap to Cambella first, just to get ready for that. And then we're going to go Earth Tremor, Head Bonk. Yeah, looks like that's what we're going to do. Alright. Alright then. One. I'll give him that, like 1 HP I believe, so I'll just head bump him and that should work, obviously. Let's just do this. And he dies, right? Yep. I mean, if I don't use a shell toss, it would be perfect damage as well, because it would I would give him down a tiny scoop of jump, and then shell toss, I mean, Earth Tremor and head bump would do 10, exactly 10. Alright, so we beat Rock Hawk. Now all that means is to defeat Macho Grubba. Which I've also got a strat prepared for, so I'm just gonna scroll down a bit on my notes here. Let me just do that real quick. Okay, there, now I'm ready to do, do Macho Grubba when the time comes. Alright, gonna be defeating him in within six turns and taking advantage of the windows where he uses, where he uses, makes himself fast. Because the problem with Monster Grubba is that he can increase his defense and make himself dodgy randomly, so my attacks might fail if I don't plan around that. So basically, I'm going to be abusing the times where he doesn't, where he can't be dodgy or defensive because he has to make himself fast. That's my strategy. Okay, so now we've made it here. I'm also going to need, let's see, make sure I have the items I need real quick. I'm going to need a Courage Chill, a Honey Syrup, and a Power Punch. I believe I've got that. I have two honey syrups, in fact, because an audience threw me one. Okay, enough with that nonsense. Okay, this can heal my SP. I'm, I, I don't think I... Actually, I probably do need that. Or do I? I'm not sure. I'm actually not using any SP in this fight, so I guess I don't, but I did anyway. Okay, so what items have I got? I've got a Courage Shell, a Honey Syrup, and a Power Punch, right? That's what I need. Yep, looks like it. Now let's change my badges. Let's see, I need Power Bounce. Yeah, obviously I'm gonna be using that. Power Bounce, Jump Man. Jump Man. Charge. Power Bounce, Jump Man, Charge. Damage, Dodge, P, and Quick Change. So I believe these are the ones I need. Let me, let me just confirm that. So, we got Power Bounce. Let me just confirm it. So, we got Power Bounce, Jump Man, Charge, Damage Dodge P, and Quick Change. I think having not, not having Damage Dodge will be fine because I'm already going to be protected by a Shell Shield the whole time. I think that's what my strats are, are planned as. So, hopefully, this will work. Got the items I need too, so I should be prepared and fully healed and all that. So, yeah. Alright. So, let's head over here. Break that. Okay. On with it. I do have to guard his attacks because you know he, he can mix his attack up to five. Unfortunately, it's pretty nasty, but that's what he does apparently. So I have to be able to take five hits, and the guard's pretty much going to be necessary to do that. All right, let's grab some star pieces while we're here as well. Because there's a couple I can grab that I didn't earlier. Because I'm going to be coming back here now. All right. Okay, there's Grubba. All right, so we need one last check-in before, after saving, to make sure I'm actually ready. All right. I've got my stretch right here, so hopefully things will work out. Let's save real quick. 
Take my badges before I save, I guess. So we got charge, power bounce, jump man, damage like pink. Quick change, yeah, that, that's what I need. Okay. So we save, now let's, I mean, you want to have Yoshi out, right? Well, no, we want to have Koops out, actually. It looks like. And then we have quick change, so we won't we even matter if we have quick change, but yeah. Alright, let's go in there. Yeah, I got all the stuff I need, I imagine, so, yep, we're prepared. Okay. Okay, time to fight him. So we start picking a shell still up. I mean obviously we want to do that. Okay, so let's get our shell still ready. As long as I get six to be fine, so let's just make sure we get that. Is that eight? Yeah, that's eight. <laughs> Pretty good then. Now I've got to switch to Yoshi. And then do a jump. Just get some get some a little bit of damage on him. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna um, use fast. He always does that. But if he doesn't have fast, he always does that. All right. So now, now I'm gonna use mini egg because that'll make him small, which is what I'm gonna want here. If I can't take five hits or eat five damage, or I mean seven damage originally, very easily if he's not shrunk. All right, and then you want to use a courage shell on Yoshi. That way he has a defensive tank anything at this point. We can come out with damage dodge P. Alright. Uh, attack up, so I have to guard this if it targets you can target Yoshi. Okay, it didn't target Yoshi, but yeah, I still would have to guard if it did. Alright, let's see. Let me use Okay, now we charge. We kind of get Mario charged up so we can just tear him apart with a, when he can have to get fast next time. So that's what we're going to do. And then we want to use a honey syrup so we can get more FP. Okay, looks good. Make himself dodgy. Yeah, he can do that early apparently. I didn't know if he could or not. But I was being careful just in case. Shell Shield is going to break, right? No, actually it won't. But I'm still going to use it again because I have one HP left. Alright, so you just turn it up and swap the cubes. Do that. Just swap the cubes. Then we use Shell Shield. Right, yep. Get another one up because this one's almost down. Alright, perfect date again. Then we want to swap to Yoshi. We don't, we don't want cubes out because then he's going to do damage to him because he doesn't have the courage shell effect. So we're going to switch to Yoshi so he can take his hit if I have to. Don't throw things at me. So we do that. And then we charge again. Alright, what's he going to do this time? Increase attack so I can be ready to guard. Okay, did it successfully. Lots of status going away. Alright, so then we charge and use Power Punch on Mario. He has to make himself he has to make himself fast here, so that's why I took advantage of this hole in his ability to increase his defense and stuff so I could easily defeat him without having to worry about missing or having defense boosts. Alright, so let's do that. And he's gonna make himself fast, because he always does that if he's not fast. And then we just gotta get six power bounces, and that should be enough to take him out. Yeah, 
Also, it's perfect damage, in case anyone's interested in how that, how that actually worked out. Because it does exactly 51 damage, that's how much health he had left. So it actually turns out to be that's a perfect damage strat. Alright, so we finished chapter 3. No more resets also. I'm surprised I wasn't able, I didn't reset at least once more to the rest of the chapter, because you know how many resets I got early on, but... This just turned out that way. Alright, so that worked out well. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, there we go. Pyrolift's definitely going to be a useful move later. It's what we get for getting this crystal star. The increase in defense is going to make a big difference with some things. Although, we, although at times you get a bit unlucky if they don't get as much defense, so it's important to account for that if you're going to use Pyrolift, I suppose. Alright, chapter 3 is done. So let me just... Um, Alright, let's save. And then I'm going to end it here. So... Next time, I'm going to probably do some pre-chapter 4 stuff, dealing with chapter 4 and such, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.